this was one of my most <laughs> um I hope you are super excited for winter. I hope your winter is going well. I hope that your new well. <laughs> I hope that your reading plans for this month get accomplished before the end of the year. And yeah. Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. For this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the books that I will be focusing on in the month of December. So I shared my winter TBR with you all and so of course I like to do like seasonal TBRs but each month I like to kind of pick a couple books that I want to focus on either within that TBR or not so that way I have an idea of what I would like to read or what I'm in the mood to read kind of thing so it's kind of like still going with like my mood read kind of feel but also having a little structure so I'm not just like not reading <laughs> and I decided that I wanted to share that with you guys I like I missed making monthly TBR videos but I didn't want to do monthly TBR so I figured I would just do like monthly I guess updates of what I want to read or what I am reading I don't know but that is my plan for this video at least so uh, I will be participating in a readathon this month as well so I am also going to be showing you all the books that I will be reading for that and then um, I picked a couple books as well that I would like to try and read this month um, I know it's the month like it's all, the year's almost over so I would like to try at least get a couple of these read before then if not that's okay but it's just kind of like a I'll try and see what happens kind of thing right now and the readathon that I'm going to be doing this month is the book junkie trials winter quest I thought it sounded fun plus it's not as it's focused more on reading less books so I was like I can definitely do that <laughs> so I have three books that I'm going to be trying to read for that as well which I will show you as I get further into the stack but uh, I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna go ahead and just start talking about the books that I will be trying to read. So the first book I have is Ten Bond Dates by Ashley Elston. Uh, I thought this sounded super interesting and super cute. I saw Carrie from Carrie the Book Bell um, review it on her channel and I think she enjoyed it for the most part and so I thought it would be a cute kind of Christmassy like holiday-ish contemporary read. I don't know if this takes place during the holidays. I Feel like it kind of does um but it at least gives me that like you know like the holiday vibe kind of or like that cute vibe you want to feel during the holidays so super excited to check this out the next book i have is unite me by tamahara mafi so for my winter tbr i did pull unravel me which is the second book in the shatter me series but i realized that um, within the original trilogy before the series got rebooted there were novellas written and I would like to try to read the novellas in between each book that way I'm just reading them in order um, <laughs> I thought about just reading them in publication order but I was like at this point it kind of doesn't matter since the series got rebooted anyways so I can just like throw them in there so um, this one has destroy me and fracture me which destroy me takes place between I think the first and the second book and then fracture me takes place between the second and third book so um, I figured I would try and squeeze in destroy me since it's, got, it's a short novella anyway so I can definitely get it done uh, before I start unite me that way I can just have accomplished something and then once I finish Unite Me I can just move on to Fracture Me and then move on to the third book eventually. Right, the next book I have is Vampire Kisses 3 Vampireville by Ellen Schreiber. Um, this is part of the Vampire Kisses series that I'm trying to finish next year. <laughs> I was gonna try to finish it this year but now it's next year because I suck. Anyways I am trying to get to the last book eventually and I'm just gonna throw I'm throwing this in there because uh, well when it was on my TBR but also because it's short and I know I can get through it because it's a reread and yeah it's gonna be super easy to get through the next book I pulled was this time will be different by Misa Sugiyara 
This was one of my most anticipated reads for the year, so I figured I would try and throw this in and get this read before the year ends. That way I can decide if it lives up to the hype that I thought it would live up to or not, essentially. Plus I wanted to throw in another contemporary because honestly, a majority of these books are kind of fantasy, but that's okay. Um, so I'm definitely excited to check this out. I'm definitely ex intrigued by the synopsis and I've, I haven't heard too many reviews, honestly on this so I don't know if people have read it or not but I'm excited to check it out. Alright so the next three books I'm telling you about are the books that I'll be reading for the book junkie trials. I will also tell you what quests they will be uh, I guess meeting um, and I'll be reading them off of this so if I look down that's why. <laughs> so the first book that I'm going to be trying to read is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo. So I am going to be buddy reading that with Nikki from XO Nikki and that is going to meet the quest of the Queen's Armada which is to team up and buddy read a book. So there is that. It also meets the quest of Desolate Ruins which is to read a book which you already own or a book available to you. So like from the library or a borrowed book or something you just it has to be free and available to you. I guess you can't buy it. So that one I will be borrowing from my library as well. So there you go. The next book I'm going to be trying to read is I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. I'm super excited to check this out. I've heard good things. I've been really wanting to read it. And as soon as I saw some of these prompts, I this was like the first book I thought of that I wanted to throw on to my TBR. I just like had this feeling. I was like, it's time. It's time for me to read this. And so I went out and bought it. And so I could read it. And I'm super excited. I love the theme of like found family in books. So I'm intrigued to see how this works in this. Um, it's one of my favorite themes in contemporaries honestly and just in any book because I just love like friends or people or whoever coming together and just kind of creating this like tight-knit group where like they're there for each other and I just I love that it gives me warm fuzzy feelings inside um and I've got th good things so this fits the prompt of Orc Eves which is to read a book with an LGBTQ IAP plus character which the main character I think is non-binary i can't remember if both characters are non-binary or not or if it's just one and the other one is queer i'm not positive obviously i'll know once i read the book but i know at least that is the like some of the themes in the book which I'm, again i'm super excited to read this also fits the challenge of rural haven which is to read a book from your favorite genre or from an author you've given five stars to i love contemporary this fits contemporary so throwing that in there also Eastern Escape, which is to read a book by a marginalized author. Mason Deaver is also non-binary and queer, so that works. And so that is all the prompts this one will fit, and I'm just, I'm super excited to get to it. I hope, I really, really hope I enjoy this. The last book I will be reading for December and for the Book Junkie Trials is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I'm so scared, guys. <laughs> like, I know I pulled this from my TBR, but I'm so scared because... Everybody loves this trilogy, and I just don't know how I'm gonna feel because I've never read a J.K. Kristoff book, never read adult fantasy really that much, so like, nervous. <laughs> this will fit the prompts for um, Graves End, which is to read a book that contains death or themes of death. She goes to a school of assassins, so I'm assuming there's a lot of death in this, so that's covered. Um, Glacial Pass which is to camouflage yourself with a white book or a book that contains snow slash winter time themes. This is definitely white, which I really love these covers. I just, I love them. I think they're so pretty. The next quest it fits is Demonic Residue, which is to read a book containing one or more animals or magical beasts. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a cat in here that everybody is obs obsessed with. I think this is the correct trilogy that, I, that everybody keeps referring to the cat to in it. I don't know, um, but... I think there's a cat so I think this fits. If not, I'm sure there's another animal in here that I can find. Um, and then the last quest it fits for is The Dark Shard which is to read a book containing a morally great character or a villainous main character. She's an assassin looking for revenge. That's kind of morally gray so that fits too. I'm again nervous excited to check this out. Uh, Hopefully I like it. I'm thinking of vlogging, like, while I read this, like, just doing a whole reading vlog based on this book. 
I'm scared, but I, I'm thinking about doing it. If you would be interested in seeing that, totally let me know down below and that will maybe help me decide whether I want to really do that or not. Those are all the books I'll be reading in December or at least trying to read before the end of the year. I'm super excited for some of them and scared. <laughs> I hope you all like the video if you did please give it a good old thumbs up down below if you have any comments questions concerns on any of the books i mentioned whether you like them didn't like them all that kind of stuff please comment them down below if you are not good at commenting i'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below i'm stealing the idea from my friend sylvia for wish fulfillment and i just love knowing you all are present and that i can interact with you your comments bring me so much joy and if you want to keep seeing more videos from me, please subscribe down below. I also have social medias, links down below if you want to be friends on there. And if you want to be notified for when I post new videos, please hit that bell button down below as well. And you can be notified, <laughs> essentially. So yeah, that is all of it. You are all some birds in a world full of weeds, and I love you. Bird, 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 bird machine. Check.